one, just thought I would do a, another video. Baby names we love and we might even be using. So I just thought I would go through that list. I have got the list written down. So the, let's have a look. So the first one on the list is the name William. I think that William is such a strong name. And it's, let's have a look what it means. So the name William mean, is German and it means will and determination, protection and helmet. So yeah, I really like, like the name William. I think it's it goes sort of with any surname and you can shorten it to Will. So yeah, that's one of our favourite names. I mean, Adam, has, Adam, my husband, has got a cousin called William. I think it's like a second or third cousin called William. So that, that's a reason why this wouldn't be the name for our baby, but it is a name that we absolutely both really love. And the next name is Alexander. I love the name Alexander. Again, I feel like it's a strong name. Goes of goes of our surname as well, which is always a bonus. And that is of Greek origin and is defender of the people, apparently. That's what it means. And the next one, which is probably one of my one of my personal favourites, and that that's the name Henry. I love the name Henry. I just think it's just really nice. I don't know any Henrys. Yeah, I like the name Henry. And that me that's German, and that means ruler of the home. So yeah, I really like the name Henry. It's definitely a strong contender. The next one is the name Louis. I love the name Louis. I just think that's just such such a nice name, and it's different. And that means famous warrior, apparently. And the next one on the boy category, and the last one I've got on the list, is the name Noah. I love the name Noah. And that's Hebrew, and it means rest and peace. So yes, yeah, so that's the boy category, because I said in the previous video, we aren't actually gonna find out the gender of our baby. It's gonna be a surprise. So we're sort of having to sort of decide and figure out what names we both absolutely love and that it, and that is going to be the one. And we have got a name, um, boy and for a girl. And like I said, might be on this list. So the next, next one for girls is the name Autumn. I love the name Autumn. It's one of my favourite names. I just think it's really pretty. It's different. Don't know an Autumn. Um, that's, this means Latin, no, this is in Latin and it's taken from the name of the season and again the reason why this wouldn't be the name of our um, child is because it's born in, going to be born in the winter in January, not in the autumn, but I, I really love that name. So the next one is Sophia. I really, really like this name, and that means Greek for wisdom. The next one, which my husband really likes, is the name Megan, and also I really like it as well. I just think it's quite a strong name, it's simple. Oh, I just think it's dead cute. And that is Greek, and means pearl, apparently. I think that's a really cute name. And the next one we've got is the name Grace. I love the name Grace. I just, I just think it's so, again, so pretty. It's simple. I don't know a Grace. My husband doesn't know a Grace. And that is Scottish, Latin, Irish and English origin. And it means effortless beauty. So yeah, I really, I really, I really like that name. And the next one, which is the last one on my list, is the name Poppy. I love the name Poppy. I just think it's it's a bit different. Again, I I don't know Poppy. My husband doesn't know Poppy, and it's actually my husband's favourite flower as well. And that's English, and it yeah again it just may, it basically means the name flower. But yeah, I love the name Poppy. So that's a very strong contender. 
so yes yeah, so that's all we've got on the list for today just a short brief video of the names we absolutely love and we might be using so yeah so hope to see you next time bye